Hi, my name is Darlene Smith and I'm with Tower Ministries. Uh, I was just thinking the other day um, about promises. Have you ever heard the term, a promise is a promise? Or my word is my bond? Those are words that, that I grew up with. And it just seems like back in the day, the society was, was more prone to try to keep, keep their words. But nowadays, I'm just seeing a shift and a change in society where talking about a promise is not always something that you would expect to be fulfilled in your life. It's important for us as Christians that we would really make, make it a point to try to keep our, our words, if we say something, to really try to keep that promise. I teach young children, and I'm real careful. If I, if I say we're going to have a snack in the afternoon, I make sure we're going to have a snack. And because the children have to learn that there's someone that they can depend on. So we watch our words, and that's important. Why do we have to do that? Is because we live at a higher standard than other people or a different standard. God wants us to show forth how he is to the world. And so by us keeping our word and keeping our promises, we're showing what God is like. The scripture says in 2 Peter 3 and 9, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness. But is long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So this scripture is telling us, no, God is not, he's not like a lot of people. When God says something, he's going to follow it through and he's going to do what he says. Another scripture that it talks about, it says, and this is Galatians 3 and 29. And it says, and if you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. See, God gave us a promise of righteousness. And so we are going to trust in God because God will do whatever he says that he's going to do. So when we go through this life and the guarantees that are given us are passed around so lightly, if those things are not fulfilled, then we know that we have the word of God to stand on because a promise is a promise. God bless.